Thanks for joining John and I at Celebrating Acts 2, Gray Matters, for things that matter to you and to us. <laughs> it matters, yes. Listen, uh, we, as we get older, we all need to exercise more, keep up our activities. And uh, one of the most popular things around is called pickleball. Hmm. I haven't played it yet. But it's everybody I know is playing pickleball, everybody our age. Um, and it's great because it's a combination between a cross between badminton and tennis. Mm. And it's played on a smaller court. You don't have to do as much running around. Um, you can see the paddles there uh, are smaller. Um, it, it's a fun sport and it's a very social sport. I think most people play it in doubles, you know. So I came across this site. I was looking for for the downside of pickleball because, quite frankly, like all sports, all activities, you have to be careful. Yeah. And this site is uh, seven answers about pickleball. Go down to number three, Art. Uh, and this is what, what I was looking for and I wanted to share with you. What injuries do pick seniors get in pickleball? Because you can't expect to go out on a court and run around even – jump around and not have an injury if you're not careful. And the answer here is a good caution, that is warm up, you know. And then number four I thought was important too is, uh, if you scan down, is pickleball hard on your joints? And the answer, well, it can be, you know, it's just like, it can be just like tennis. Yeah, um, but I, I think that the, the key to it, and I, I don't play pickleball, uh, my knees probably would not be very happy about it. Uh, although apparently because it's a smaller court, there are less injuries than, than tennis, but so right. many people are just picking it up now that apparently they just like when the Hoover hoops first came out, the yeah. uh, emergency rooms were filled with people who probably <laughs> didn't, yeah. didn't, didn't heed the warm up part. Yeah. Go down to number four, Art, show them what number four is, pick a board harder in your joints and just scan number five and six and seven so that people get an, a sense of what's on this blog. Really, a blog is part of a bigger website. Um, and it's not an easy website to find because it's a blog within a website within a website. So we'll post the URL at the bottom in the information panel at the bottom of this video. Um, but it's, I think you'll find it a useful site. Common sense, but it's stuff that people just com completely ignore, saying, oh, pickleball, I can't hurt you. Let's go out and you know, twist a knee, break an ankle, something like that. So I don't mean to be a downer about pickleball because it's a, it is a great uh, replacement for some more exertion, uh, more exerting sports, but you still have to be careful. Okay. So uh, I uh, was uh, doing something a, a lot less uh, physical. And by the way, I go to the Y uh, uh, in our local neighborhood and I write, ride my recumbent bike uh, about an hour every morning, but I see all these pickleball people coming in and they've, they've got all these fancy shirts. Uh, uh, there's the, the yellow team and the lime green team. And, and so they're really into it. So uh, pickleball people become very serious very quickly. I will, uh, I will tell right, you that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway. So what I did was I did something a lot less exhausting on the body, a lot more body friendly, and it was looking for a bunch of podcasts that we could listen to. Uh, sure. Perhaps when you're in the emergency room, uh, recovering from a pickleball or having a pickleball inju injury uh, attended to. But he was he was a site, and like so many of the sites, and the internet is really a great resource for all of us. Like uh, so many sites, um, uh, they are sponsored by people who are trying to sell you something. In this case, it's an insurance company. But it doesn't really matter because the information is really kind of interesting. And so what I found here was um, uh, 27, according to their accumulation, their aggregation of, of sites of podcasts. And a couple of interesting things about it, even before I got involved in this, is that podcasts, unlike YouTube, um, uh, Stitcher and Apple and a lot of places where they, they say you can find your favorite podcasts. Um, you can, in fact, find your podcast there, but they don't store it like YouTube does. They just sort of point to all these things. So people have hundreds and hundreds of podcasts, and you can go to some of the sites and we'll list them down below. 
as I say, Stitcher and Apple and a few others uh, where you can find these. But here are the names of podcasts and what they contain. So I found a whole bunch of these things interesting. Um, uh, and one of the ones I went to is uh, Stuff You Should Know. And um, I found it to be an interesting one because I had stuff like, uh, and let me go here to uh, uh, this next one, which is um, uh, school bus, why school bus is yellow. And I'm not, I'm, I'm going to let you go there yourself. But this is just interesting stuff. And so every so often, I like to take 10 or 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and just do something that I never would have paid attention to before. And in this case, it's where did school bus yellow come from? Well, if you want to know, this is a, a site that has all those things. It has like 300 or so, uh, uh, well, I'm sorry, 2,200 episodes. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so, so our stuff you should know has 2,300 episodes. Yeah. One of which is about a school bus. Right. But here's a, the one just below it uh, that you can see is uh, the history of Las Vegas. So there are lots of different things about it, but these are all nice, uh, uh, maybe a half hour for most of them. Uh, let's see, seven minutes, uh, 57 minutes. So anything you want to know, there's going to be information on podcasts. And if you like to, if you're in your car, you want to listen to me in your car, it's a great place to listen to some of these podcasts. Or if you're like me on the bike in the morning, uh, it's a, a great thing to do. But anyway, just to give you a sense of their choice of 27, and there are hundreds of them. So if you went to Stitcher or Apple, some of the others, and you just search for podcasts, you find out something. Here, here was one I saw, I listened to a couple of these uh, called Planet Money. And it's a whole bunch of different things about monetary issues that you may be interested in. And it's uh, this one is supported by National Public Radio, and they have three or four hundred of them uh, already done. Uh, uh, the American Life, it, it just anything you have an interest in, they happen to have these titles that are listen, uh, listed for you. But the important thing is, I'll have this link here, but you can just go to the internet and you can uh, go to. Um, uh, type in podcast for seniors and get literally hundreds uh, of so, podcasts that, that you can listen to in the car or when you're working out or if you're just sitting around drinking some lemonade. So the website you're linking to down below yeah. is the one with, that's curated 27 of their favorite podcasts. Yeah, for yeah it's called uh, right. Sam uh, Sam uh, Hox, Hox a day or whatever the name is. It's an insurance company, but it, it yeah, was but, really but a nice curation they, of of uh, uh, podcasts that might be of interest to people in our age group. Right, twenty seven of them, and I'm I'm fascinated by the fact that your intellectual curiosity drew you to yellow school buses out of those twenty seven websites. It was it was more than that, but we're going to save that for a different podcast. When, okay. when when I when I was running a nursery school and I learned about something called school bus chrome, ah. it's not yellow. It's called school bus chrome in most jurisdictions. Well, I stand ready to listen about school bus chrome. For more on celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.